Okay, everybody, today we are going to go over the idea that we can make props that will bust up and turn into wood or stone or whatever. It's actually pretty easy, so let's give it a go. Well, we're inside of UAFN right now, and as you can see, I've got these three piles of wood. I've made this inside of Blender. So essentially the idea is that you can make anything inside of some other piece of software, 3D software, export it as an FBX, bring it into UAFN, and then make it breakable and then get resources out of it. So let's quickly take a look inside of Blender to see what I made here. All I've got is just this pile of cylinders. And I've taken the pile of cylinders and applied a material to them. And the material is nothing special. We can see here I've got my material editor here. And uh, it's just a wooden surface that I got off of a free site and applied to my wood, as you can see here. Let's light this up a little bit better. So you can see that it's just... It's very, very basic. I've got just a bunch of cylinders essentially used an array modifier and just created this pile of wood. Very basic. But the idea is that we can take this and then we can bring this into UAFN. So you can make anything. You could make a fort. You can make a house. You could make anything that you want your character or anybody's character to bust up. And uh, it's it's very simple. What you really need to keep in mind is the scale and size of it. So remember, if we hit the three, on our numpad, then we can see how tall this is. So every one of these big squares is a meter. And so up here would be two meters. So the height of a character is just under this two meter mark. So it kind of makes sense that a wood pile is going to be down here. But if you wanted to make a bigger than you can, these are just some small sort of branches. And uh, obviously you can make a better pile than this, but Whatever, this is the way it goes. So once we've done this, we want to export it. So we'll go to File, Export, FBX. And then inside of here, I learned something slightly new. We want to go into the Geometry tab and then inside of Smoothing, select Face, not Normals only. You can select Normals only, but UAFN will throw a small error. Not that it's a big deal, but selecting it's the face will mean that you will not get that error anymore. Um, if you don't have any animation, turn that off and that's kind of about it. That's all you really need to worry about. And then you just export it to wherever you're going to export it to. Let's close down Blender. Now, once you've exported your FBX, we're going to make a folder inside of your content uh, browser, inside of your project itself. And I called mine objects. So inside of objects, I place my objects. Now, I previously used this file as my tutorial for the elevator. If you haven't seen that, check that out. Link is in the description. And essentially, I've made an elevator that works. When you go into it, it makes you go up. So I've made a new folder here called wood, and this is where all of my wood is. Now, I've got my materials in here. I've got my ambient, the base, uh, normals and roughness. That's plenty for what we need to make this wood. And uh, of course, the, uh, the material gets created here inside of the content browser because everything comes in with a material. Usually it's just white if you uh, if you haven't applied anything because out of Blender it'll come. Whatever color you set in Blender, it will come in here as, as the material. So if we double click our actual stack of wood, then we can we can see here we've got our uh, wood texture applied. Now, if you don't have anything applied, you can let me just go back a second. Let's close out of that. You're going to drag in your FBX file. When you drag in your FBX file, you're going to get your wood. You're going to get your wood. In fact, let's do that. Let's make another uh, folder. We'll go new folder and we'll call this wood two. So inside of wood two, I'm going to drag my wood BX file. So that's just simply just dragging it in from Explorer and that will pull up a import uh, dialog, just hit import all. And you can see here that it comes in with the default white because that's the color that's applied inside of Blender without materials. We want to double click this and then up in the material slots, we're going to double click and you can see that there's nothing in here other than the white. So to get this to work, we want to open up our content drawer and we're going to go into wood too. Now there's nothing in here. I haven't bring, brought anything in. So then we can go find all of our image files that we've got for our materials, drag them in to the content drawer like this, and then drag them up into your node editor for your materials. And then each one has its own thing. So if we click on this, we can see here that the file name is ambient occlusion. So we take this 
and we chuck this into ambient occlusion, just drag it in. And this one is obviously the actual color, so put that into base color. Then we can take this one and we can actually just delete it. And then we'll take this one. This one is the normals. We take the normals and put it into normal. And finally, we have roughness. Roughness goes into, and this will make it shiny or not shiny. Weirdly, it's a bit too shiny for me, but it doesn't matter. We could put a, a just a normal value instead of this texture, but or we could actually modify. It doesn't matter. Uh, head up to the top, hit apply and save, and that will save it all. And then you can see here inside of wood two, our wooden surface now looks like this and a stack of wood. So this is the exact same as the other thing. OK, so the next thing we need to do is we need to make a blueprint pop. And we need to make a blueprint pop because we need to be able to do things with this thing. So inside of my content folder here, we have blueprints. Now I've already got a wood pile in here. We're going to make a new one so we can go through the whole thing again. So right click uh, blueprint building prop and then we'll call this wood pile two. OK, so it's got nothing in it. We'll double click it. And then over in the static mesh, we're going to look for a wood. It should be stack of wood three. So we're going to grab that guy. And then we want to make it so that it is destructible. So up in the search area, we can just put can and it will show up can be damaged. So I want to make sure that it can be damaged. So that's good. And then inside of the search bar, we're going to put res to find resource type. And the resource type is going to be wood. And then finally, we want to change the attribute. So ATTR to start our search for attributes. And it's going to give our attribute init keys. Now, both of these, we want to change them to prop wood. So we'll do that for both of them, prop wood. And then we're going to change the initialization subcategory to two. I don't actually know what these do, but the documentation says to do this and it works great. Uh, so once you've done that, hit compile, save, and you're done inside of there. And then it's just a matter of dragging it onto your world. So here this exists here. Uh, we can move it wherever we want, close to our spawn point, for example, so we know which one is which, maybe right there. So as soon as we hop off our spawn point, we're going to be able to see this one. Actually, let's save that. Let's push our changes and we'll give this a quick test. OK, we're in the game finally, so we can wander over to our pile of logs, hit them, and it gave us five wood. Now, you may have noticed at the beginning of the tutorial that the wood that I've got over here actually gives us 52 or 58 or 47. So that's a lot more than five. So let's figure out how to do that. OK, so to change the amount of wood that it gives us, we want to go into our blueprints, double click our blueprint that we're going to be modifying and then head down towards the middle here. And right after it says resource type wood and allow resource drop. We want to go to the building resource amount override. And right now it says curve table of none. So inside of here, we can add the resource rates curve table. And the row name that we're going to use is resource wood high or very high or whatever you want. Wood low, medium, high, very high are our options. So let's select very high and then we'll compile that, save that, close that push our changes and wait for the game to restart. OK, we're back in the game again. So let's wander up to our wood and we'll see here when we hit it, we got 103 this time. So that's how you can make some kind of object that's going to give you resources. And in this case, we made wood. And uh, yeah, it's actually it's pretty easy, but I thought I would just cover it just in case. So that's it for this one. See you guys in the next one.